you have overcome the world. You see, now that, that sounds simple. You've read it many times. I've read it too. Why did God have to specifically tell me? The Spirit said to me so clearly. He said, you have overcome the world. Oh, oh, I felt like flying. I felt like, you know, you have overcome the world. Why is he telling me? What did John say? He said, beloved, these things I write unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. That you may know that ye have Zoe. And that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. He said, I, I, I'm writing to you so you may know that you have eternal life. I said, I want you to know. He wants it to be a present hour possession of the Christian. He says, listen, I want you to know that you have eternal life. He said, I write to you you who believe in the name of the Son of God. So the reason I'm writing you is that you may know that you have. He didn't say that you may know that you're going to get it. Not that you may know that it's coming. That God promised it. He said, I want you to know that you have it. Why? Because some of them were not acting like they had it. So, if you, if you had a tumor in your body, what would John say to you? John, John's talking about a different kind of ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's talking about a different kind of ministry. He says, brother, I want you to know. Hey, uh, I want you to know that you have eternal life. I want you to know. with God John he said that you may know that you have he said beloved now are we the sons of God we're not going to be he says now it is in the now of our lives we are the sons of God now we're born the sons oh boy we're born the sons of God now we are not servants we are sons there is a connection there's a flow. What's John talking about? You remember the words of Jesus. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. So the same life. The same life. I love what Paul said. Is that if any man is in Christ. He is a new creation. He's a new kind of man. The world has different kinds of men. There are two kinds. The natural man and the reborn man. The natural man is different from the new creation. The world has not yet recognized the new creation. But there's a reason. The whole earth is traveling in pain, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. How is that going to happen? I tell you, look at Jesus. He's sleeping in the boat. Sleeping, sleeping. Water gets into the boat. The disciples are scared. They're about to drown. They go to Jesus. Master, wake up. Don't you care that we perish? So water's coming into the boat. Jesus wakes up and says, Hey, come on. Where is your faith? He turns to the winds and the waves and says, Peace. The Bible says, There was a great calm. Okay. Okay. A plane crash. Several Christians inside. Some of them ministers. What happened? Everybody did. 
Okay, there's a storm. Houses are thrown off. Many are rendered ho homeless. Some have died. Churches destroyed. Many of them Christians. The question is, what minute this? This was the kind of situation when the angel came to Gideon and said, Hello Gideon! Thou mighty man of Allah! How you doing? He said, who's that? The angel's talking to me, you? I'm not the man man of Allah. And he said, oh, come on Gideon. You're a mighty man of Valor. Me? Did you miss your way? Me? The angel said, yes, you. You are a mighty man of Valor. With you. God can destroy all your enemies. You will whip the Midianites as one man. He said, me? He didn't know what he had. God had to send an angel to tell him what did Gideon have I'll tell you what Gideon had that Gideon didn't know and that all the Israelites didn't know and still Gideon wanted an army but the, the, the angel said as one man you can whip all the Midianites no he didn't hear that he wanted an army and God helped him get an army what did Gideon have that Gideon didn't know it was a covenant there was a covenant and that covenant said one of you shall chase a thousand two of you shall put ten thousand to flight they shall come out against you one way but they shall flee before you seven ways they have forgotten they made songs out of them and danced in the temple grounds but they had forgotten what he said they forgot the covenant and so but the angel didn't forget hello Gideon my man of Allah he hadn't fought in any battle before but that was God's mind that's what God said God's waiting. The world is waiting. Everybody's waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The sons of God who know how to tell the devil no. Not out of fear, but out of faith. God's waiting. The world is waiting. Everybody's waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The sons of God who know how to tell the devil no. Not out of fear, but out of faith. Because you can speak words of faith in fear. They are the words that faith people speak. But a man of fear is speaking them. They still would not work. Because the power. I hear this. The power comes from the Spirit. Oh, let me tell you, that's, that's why we're talking about the ministry of the Spirit. You see, there's a word that comes from you here and a word that comes from you on the inside. The two different things. Alright, now, Peter said something, Second Peter chapter 1, when you read from verses 3 and 4. Peter tells us that we are we are partakers of the divine nature. 